Hi everybody, it's Noah, and it is March 15th. Oh dang it, I missed Pi Day! Oh, math struggles. Um, it's like 11.20 in the morning, and I'm so awake. I've been awake since like 6, because I went to bed at like 8 o'clock last night. It was such good sleep. Um, let's see, things that I have to talk about. I know, I'm so gay, I'm sorry. Um... Let's see, I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm trying not to use um that much, because I'm really tired of people counting how many ums I make in a video, and it kind of hurts my feelings, because I have, like, a little bit of a stutter and speech impediment slash thingy that exists, and it kind of hurts my feelings that you guys count how many times I say um. Also, I've caught something that I'm not quite sure what it is, but, yeah, it's my hair, it's my little rhinoceros horn. I rhino rammed Sarah Miller the other day. It was great. And then I found $5 because that was an amazing story. Um, let's see. I just got back from a two-week trip to Pennsylvania. And by just got back, I mean a week ago. Ooh, Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Met a lot of people. Did a lot of things. Got an iPhone. I love my iPhone. Um... And, uh, yeah, I'm an iPhone addict now. <laughs> it's a problem. I force square and Instagram, everything. And then, when I, anyways, when I got home from Pennsylvania, I had a very, very, very good friend come up from uh, Poplar Bluff, Phoenix. Uh, love that guy. He came up and spent two nights with me, and we did amazing things, like went to the local wax museum, went to art galleries, went to, Mc, not McDonald's, uh, Walmart, a billion and one times, yeah. And there were these cute little fluffy bunnies, and he's like obsessed with them, they're super cute. Uh, and then we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, where their service was horrible, but it was fun. Um... And then, what did I do after that? Oh, I didn't do anything after that. Oh, yeah, I got ready for my trip to Virginia, which I leave for in, like, three hours. I'm taking the bus. P.S. I love Delta, but I fucking hate Delta. Because my flight... On the very day that I was about to leave Pennsylvania, because I was really anxious to get home, it got canceled because of snow. I mean, there's nothing Delta could do about that. But they tried to rearrange my flight system, so instead of going directly from Pennsylvania, I mean, I'm from Baltimore to Atlanta to Little Rock, it was like, we're going to take you from Baltimore to Minneapolis to Atlanta to Little Rock. And I was like, so when I was going to the um, BWI airport, they said that my flight had been delayed, and so my flight to Minneapolis, you know, was delayed by, like, three hours. And when I, by the time I got there, they were like, oh, you won't miss your connection to Atlanta. My flight to Atlanta would have left an hour before my plane even got there. So I got to travel to the um, Washington Dulles Airport, uh, Delta paid for everything, and it was really cool. It was a really cool airport. It was so huge. And, uh... Poop, I'm saying, uh, instead of um. Got to the airport and then left to go to Atlanta. 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 Atlanta! Atlanta's my favorite. Um, especially the airport. I don't know why. It's just wonderful. Great things happen in Atlanta. And after that, I arrived in Little Rock and then I came home. And then Phoenix came up busy day, and, yeah, so that's my Delta rant, because on the way there, on the way to Pennsylvania, uh, there was bad weather the day I was gonna leave, and I ended up spending a night in Atlanta, and I fucking love Atlanta, so I was not complaining, but I had to get up at, like, ridiculously early, not like I really went to sleep anyways, but, yes, um, small Delta rant that wasn't really a rant, just frustration slightly. Alright, so... Other than that, um, I have my trip to Virginia, where I'm spending a week with Brian, and things like that in Richmond. 
Uh, let's see, after that, I have a few more things for my transition that I do now. Uh, on top of, you know, the, the binder and everything that I do like that, and packing, I have started doing my eyebrows more. This is where I just, like, take, like, if you watch my drag tutorials, it's the same thing I do when I'm in drag, except not as dramatic. Um, it's my Alyssa Edwards mirror face. Um, don't tell anyone I did that. Uh, so I just make them a little bit thicker and stuff like that. Like, I like would, I'm not gonna show you a picture. Anyways, y'all know what my face normally looks like, and this is not it. I mean, well, except for, like, this part. Well, almost. But that's coming up later. Um, so I did that. And I I had slider shorts from when I played softball, and they work really well at compressing my hips and not making my hips look so burthy. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, not as, like, wide, like, or, like, womanly, where it's not, like, it helps them be a little more, like, instead of being like this, it has to be more, like, like, there's still, like, a little bit of hip, but I mean, like, that's because I haven't, like, lost weight. In fact, my butt is getting bigger. It's because my ass is pregnant. Mer. Uh, that one was for you, Adriana Fuentes. Um, alright, other things. I have bookings coming up in Poplar Bluff, Missouri at JJ's. So excited about that. That should be happening next Saturday. So if you live anywhere near that area, you should come and see me perform. And give me a dollar. Or awkward stares. Either works. Um. Alright. So I was mentioning earlier about my face. And how not everything is the same. Uh. I had work done to my face. I don't know how I feel about people getting cosmetic surgeries. But. Yeah. Um. I got my upper lip pumped. And I fucking love it. Uh. Yeah. There's my lip. I don't have a before thing, but I guess if you guys, like, look through my videos, you could see it. But I think it's lovely. Now I can do duck face more efficiently. No, I got it done because I'm um, Bieber illusion. I do Bieber a lot. And Bieber has his upper lip pumped. And let's be honest, I also got it done because I really want my lip pumped. I mean, my lower lip's, like, lovely already, but... Meh. Um. Alright. Final thing I'm going to talk about that... Like, people who aren't in drag probably give absolutely no, no poops about. Um, it's pageant season. And I've been overloaded on making people's pageant mixes. Which is okay, but tiny, tiny ramble. You want your mix, I want my money. I don't mind. I'll be like, I'll send it to you early. But you have a two-day limit to get me my money afterwards. It irks me to absolutely no end. When these people are like, I'm gonna commission you to make a mix, and I'm like, okay... Um, you know, like, when do you think you'll be able to pay me and stuff like that? They're like, you know, by such and such date. So, I have the mix made by such and such date, awaiting, you know, awaiting your payment. I haven't sent it to you yet, but I'm awaiting your payment. And they, sure enough, will message me and be like, yeah, I need my mix, but I'm not going to get paid until such and such date. Okay. <laughs> like, I can't do anything about that. I mean, I could send it to you, but I'm not going to do that. Like, sorry, but this is a business. Which means, you know, this is like one of my sources of income. Um, you want your mix, I want my money. It's really that simple. But um, anyways, I've been on overload because it's pageant season. And uh, there are three, well actually there are four pageants coming up. Um, between now and like April 20th, Crazy eyebrows. Um, and, uh, I forgot what I was saying that, because I was intrigued by the song. Okay, things. Um, okay, so, my picks are as followed, because I'm sure that no one really cares, but I like pledging my allegiance. Um, for international, Team Harmony Breeze, she's lovely. Um, and she's beautiful. You should all go to her page and like her, like her pictures, things like that. Team Breeze! Uh, not Febreze, just Breeze. Crazy ramble, sorry. 
Um, for Continental Elite, I want to wish my lovely wife, Dina Cass, the best of luck. Uh, I know you'll be spending time with your other husband, but uh, I know that you can do it. I'm really proud of you, and I support you, and I can't wait, because I know that you're going to win. And I love you so much, and best of luck. Uh, all right, um, and then there's the matter of all American guys. This is the one I get excited for every year. I don't know why. I just do. All right, so there are two categories in all American goddess. There's all American goddess, and then all American goddess at large. And I believe that all American goddess at large is first this year. I think it's actually starting right now. Um, or at least registration and contestant numbers and stuff like that. I'm sure there'll be a lot. Um. My top three are um, Memphis Michaels uh, and Alexis, maybe because they're they're like local. And then there's my lovely Arkansas tranny wife, Akasha Adonis. So y'all need to go to her page, Miss um, Miss Arkansas All American Goddess at Large, and like her shit up because she's flawless. Um, and I love the hell out of her. So, Team Porcelain Doll, Team Adonis, Team Everything, Team Arkansas, uh, for, for Akasha. I really hope that she wins, because she's so wonderful, and anyone who gets to know her just knows that she's a lovely human being. Um, and then there's All American Goddess, just like the normal one. And as much as I hate Charo, I'm gonna go with Team Fuentes. Uh... Adriana is lovely. It's Adriana Fuentes. Lovely. Um, you would never know that she's Charo out of drag. You would just have absolutely no idea. Um, but yeah. So, Team Fuentes. And those are my picks. So, I think I have Illinois, Wisconsin, Arkansas, and part of Lexington, Kentucky in my fan picks and that's who I'm rooting for and absolutely no one else no I'm just kidding I'm rooting for other people no I'm not that sounds really wrong I'm rooting for the people that I said um I hope that Adriana brings it home for Kentucky and you know I hope that All American Goddess at Large stays in Arkansas because you know the, the current reigning is uh Whitney Page She's from Arkansas. She's like an hour away from me, and so is Akasha. So, yeah, Arkansas for the Winsies. Yeah, yeah, Arkansas girls know how to do it. Uh, weird song. Moment. And then, um, Team Wisconsin for Harmony Breeze for International. We'll be so sad to see Lindsay Page step down. Oh, pages seem to be title holders. Just saying. Um, also, this is total side note, but this will probably be the end of my video. RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. I have people that I would like to see be on the show, but please do not send me 9 billion requests to like your page. Because more than likely, I'm not going to like it. I ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I wish all of you the best of luck. If you think you can do it, then, you know, give it 110%, but... Some people, you know, don't don't have what it takes yet, or they're not what the what the show is looking for. One thing I will not tolerate is if I see that you're posting on Facebook about how you didn't make RuPaul's Drag Race season six, when all that time comes around, you're getting deleted because there's there will be another season of RuPaul's Drag Race. I really don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So, oh my, that's so lovely. my bank space. <laughs> and so, yeah, Repolish Drag Race. You can do it if you try. Uh, really want to see certain people on the show, like Lindsay Page and some other people that I think are going to make videos and things like that, you know, keep it a small season. Uh, and that's really it. And now that I made this video going for 15 minutes instead of packing, I think maybe I should go to get to packing. Uh, 
but, um, duck butt, right of horn. Uh, I'm gonna go finish my packing. And I'll probably make videos just like wishing girls luck on my way to Virginia because I'll be really, really bored. It's 26 hours on the bus. Yeah, so all that. Alright, have a great day, everybody. And I'm sure y'all didn't watch all of this because it's late. Alright, bye. P.S. This is now.